You know when we hold a grudge, Wallahi, it pulls us down. It is a weight on our shoulders. It results in so much negativity. We have evil thoughts and it contaminates our entire system. Try your best to remove the grudge. As hard as it is, as difficult as it is, people say forgive and forget. I disagree with that. Because it's not really possible for a human being to do the second part of it. I can forgive you. But if I forget, you might bite me from the same direction again. And a mu'min is not supposed to be bitten from the same angle twice. That's a hadith. La yuldaqul mu'minu min juhrin wahidin marratayn. A mu'min is not supposed to be bitten from the same hole twice. So I will forgive you wholeheartedly. But I'm not going to forget it. Because I don't want you to bite me again from the same angle. Therefore, I may not embrace you after I've forgiven you. You know, a sign that you, you've forgiven someone is not that you embrace them in a way that you return the relationship back to where it was. That is possible if both parties are genuine. But if both parties are not genuine, you might say, Oh Allah, I forgive this person, but I don't want to have anything much to do with them from now on. Subhanallah, you're not wrong. Some people, like I say, are so toxic, you have to save yourself from such people because the minute you interact with them, their habits, their character, their conduct, their thinking, their speech, everything is so negative that it has such a bad impact on you. You come back from them depressed. You might want to stay away. There's nothing wrong. If you have tried to change them and you did not succeed, you stay away from them. It's better for you. They are known as toxic people. So we're talking about saving ourselves. We have to save ourselves from two types of shaitans. One is the, the devil, shaitan, iblis and his progeny. And two is shaitan from amongst mankind. There are devils, people whom unfortunately, very unfortunately, they don't want to mend their ways and habits. They steal, they pinch, they do it once, twice and ten times. If you don't save yourself from such people, you will, res you will regret. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us.